Greetings to our faculty, staff, parents, and teachers, and then welcome to the class of 2020. We are here to celebrate our, our valedictorian and our salutatorian, but before we do that, we have a message from our superintendent, Dr. Randall Dozier. Hello, I'm Dr. Randy Dozier. I'd like to bring you greetings and congratulations on your 2020 graduation. Generally, I do not speak during graduation ceremonies because I like to keep the focus on you, the graduate. However, in light of the pandemic and all the things that have happened to you as a class, I wanted to say a few words to you. During your time as a student, you've endured any number of challenges. Two thousand year floods, several hurricanes, tropical storms, a prolonged ice and snowstorm, tornadoes, flus, viruses, remember MRSA in the locker room, and lastly, freezing fog. Still looking for that fog. Never really happened, but we had to delay school because of that. In spite of it all, you persevered. Remember, that's a good first T core value, perseverance. Now you're having to finish your senior year at home, sometimes in isolation, using e-learning. I know this has been difficult, especially missing your entire spring sports seasons, missing out on possible state championships, missing awards day, field trips, proms, and many other treasured and important activities. We're still trying to find a way to reschedule some of these events even into next year. I'm truly sorry that you've missed out on so many special events and cherish senior moments. I really cannot give you a reason why bad things happen sometimes in life. I can say as a group you have endured much and handled adversity well with grace and determination. One of my fondest memories was watching many of you volunteer as a group filling sandbags for your neighbors and community members for the flood or when you took up donations for so many people in need. In my humble opinion, I truly believe that all of these hardships have made you stronger and hopefully better prepared for any future challenges you may have in life. I wish you all great success as you leave high school and pursue college, work, technical college, military, and anything in your future adult life. I truly believe that you are the future and I have high hopes that you are well prepared for any challenge you may face. Good luck with your future plans. It's been my honor to be your superintendent and I wish you all success and God bless each and every one of you. Now we'll have a message from our salutatorian, Mr. Juan Diego Donmeyer. Good morning, class of 2020. It is truly an honor to stand before you today, especially since we have been stuck in for a few months. Let me begin by applauding the parents and family members of our graduates. You have made many sacrifices to see us succeed, and it's greatly appreciated. You have seen these graduates grow into young adults, and your dedication has not been overlooked. I would like to applaud our staff members who helped run this process. It could not have been done without your constant working during day in and day out. Mm. And to all those teachers, although we get on your nerves, we really appreciate the effort you put in your lessons and teaching us even when we lack focus so that we become global competitors. My dad once said, teachers have no hours off. And I really believe that teachers are constantly worrying about their students and are working nonstop to, for them to provide the best learning experience possible. To our administrators, Mr. Odom and Mr. Bonza, thank you for both leading the school. You set the tone for, the school, for our school. Most importantly, I need to thank, I need to thank us, the students. We did it. I know my classmates work their tails off to be wearing this cap and gown this morning. And I am so excited to see where the future leads us. Let us all take this time to applaud them. Thank you. Well, this is a real graduation to say the least. 
When I heard we were going to be out for two weeks, I knew then this year would be far from normal. I remember thinking that I was going to have Suri say my speech, but thankfully we are here. Every day we are here is a miracle, especially now. While this pandemic is a big challenge, it has not been the first challenge we have faced and it will not be the last. To this generation I am a part of, you amaze me, but sometimes you disappoint. We say stuff like, my generation sucks, or I was not born for this generation. If it sucks so much, guess what we have? The power to change it. And if we don't, we are just as lost as the older generations. You may be asking, how can we create change? And I have one word for that question, vote. Go to the polls and vote, V-O-T-E. Voting is how you make your voice heard and not voting resorts in you being deaf to what will happen to America. Also, I know a lot of you are going to move from this place and I don't blame you, but if you do stay, make sure you change it for the better. Although we have made great strides in American culture, there is still much to do. Many have experienced racism, inequality, and unfair treatment for not fitting within the ideals of the people who built this country. America claims to be the melting pot, but all we can truly say is that we are diverse. We are not, however, a melting pot. We are more like a picky child who does not want his food to touch. No one is born racist. No one is born believing that everyone is not equal. So let's all try our best to appreciate all cultures, all sexual orientations, and all walks of life. Let's be the generation that truly makes America great again. When I look into the stands, I see a lot of wonderful people with great accomplishments. When I look in front of me, I see an amazing group of classmates that are headed for greater accomplishments. While our high school career is over, learning does not stop. So no matter what you do, never stop learning. If you do not take anything from this speech, please take this. Knowledge can never be taken away from you. P knowledge is the most important thing in life when it comes to being successful. I challenge the class of 2020 my class to continuously seek knowledge. I wish you all a wonderful life full of successes. It will not be easy and life will break you down to your weakest point, but only if you allow it. Just be sure to pick up the pieces and put yourself back together. Go start your next chapter and together let's make this world a better place. Thank you. And now I would like to present to you our valedictorian, Ms. Destiny Poulston. Good morning, district staff, Mr. Odom, faculty and staff, friends, and my fellow Carver's Bay graduates. I am so glad that we are able to come together on this day to celebrate the class of 2020. If I'm being honest, I struggle trying to figure out what to say to everyone today. So let me start by saying this. Our senior year was cut short. But in spite of our new way of living, 2020 still has a lot to offer. To quote Tom Outhouse, this is our time. Seize the moment. Fear not the unknown. It is a sea of possibilities. Sadly, fear of the unknown is what we are all facing today. A few months ago, our biggest concerns were spending our last months of high school with the friends we have grown to love. We all know there were more memories to be made and so many more laughs to be shared. We soon realized we would not get the dance at our last prom or get that senior night we have always dreamed of. And we feared whether or not we would be able to walk across the stage like the classes before us. So yes, these are things that we have been stripped of, but we should not be fearful of what is to come because it is up to us to make it great. As many of you have seen through social media, the class of 2020 was born during the devastating time of 9-11. Not only were we born during a hardship, but now we are graduating during a pandemic. This time is torturous for us, but it shows that we can endure anything. We have had to overcome obstacles only few have faced. We have weathered this storm and we are survivors. 
Going through this not only shows the class of 2020, but the world that God can get us through anything. We have shown the world that we are stronger than a virus. COVID-19 may have taken away our last few months of senior year, our last game, our last prom, and many other last, but it will never take away the pride that we have in our class. This year's graduating class has sacrificed so much, and that sacrifice will not go unnoticed. We are the class that will be remembered forever. We are the class that has earned our place in history. We are dreamers, we are fighters, and we are the class of 2020. So my fellow graduates, be proud of our accomplishments. Do not dwell on the negatives and do not lose faith because there are brighter days ahead of us. Never forget that we are strong, we are brave, and we are a family. That is one thing that the coronavirus will never be able to take away from us. Personally, I am proud to stand and say that I will graduate with the class known as the ones who are quarantined. May the world never forget us. So congratulations yet again to the class of 2020 because no matter what was thrown our way, we did it. Thank you. And now I would like to present to you the Carversby High School class of 2000.